What's up you guys, Clock here, and today I'm going to make a video talking about how I think PvP can be saved. 500 likes on this video, I want 500 likes on this video. I would just like to say how I even got into PvP in the first place. Who got you guys into PvP? You might have been into it before, but did you watch any? So was there someone that stuck out to you over the years? I know for me, there was someone in very particular who stuck out to a lot of people and he was a big motivation. And could you guys guess who that was? That's right. That was Swifty. <laughs> Swifty, the biggest YouTuber for PvP there was. He was my idol. He was everything. He was the reason why I stuck to WoW. He was the person that I would first come home from school or work and I would watch his videos. I would watch his daily vlogs. I loved everything about him. Gay but now if you go to his channel, it's a very sad thing. You no longer see him doing PvP really anymore. He does PV content, he does mythics. You might see a couple BGs or arenas or here and there, but that's if something happens, like if a new BG came out, a uh, new brawl, um, if something cool happened in arena. But again, that's very rare and far between. One of my very first points is to make classes feel unique right now. When I play a warrior, I don't feel very much different from when I play like an enhancement shaman or when I play my boomkin I don't feel very much different from when I play elemental the there's really very little that separates the class for instance like boomkin can't be polymorphed elemental shaman can but they they deal damage almost the same way it's it's really it's not that fun a, you play one class you play it all sort of thing and blizzard needs to revert back to their old ways remember when shamans had a uh, tremor they all had grounding and they were able to spam Tremor if their feeler got in fear. You know, something, I, I think adding uniqueness to a class 2 also adds skill cap. And you, the Blizzard needs to keep in mind not to make the, the game too easy. Do not appease to the plebs, Blizzard. That's one of the very biggest mistakes I, think, I see Blizzard do. Is they always try to appease to the plebs. And if they do that, there isn't that high of a skill cap. Anyone can fucking do it. Now there might be small minor differences, but like, you know, how to CC chain someone in order to get a kill. I'm going off topic, but I think if they, Blizzard made classes unique again, and, and making them in unique inherently makes them have like a higher skill cap because they bring different stuff to the table, uh, I think that would be awesome. For the second point, which is also a really huge problem, is the reward system for peers. It's just complete garbage. When I get on WoW and I go to do BGs or arenas and try to push some rating, I should have some kind of, the, of, of a reason to why I'm trying to push that rating. Why am I trying to go for 2k? Why am I trying to go for 2200? Because I want to be able to get a piece of loot. I want to get something that makes me feel different. I want to, make some, I want to get something that's going to improve my character. And right now, we just don't simply have that. What do we get right now? We get titles, rival, uh, duelist, gladiators, rank 1. And it, it, that simply just doesn't do it. You gotta remember, this is also an MMORPG. I wanna feel like I'm improving my character on a day to day basis. I wanna feel like my character is actually getting stronger. I, it makes you feel separated. It makes you feel like you're, you know, a better player. It, like, the reason why we do PvP in the first place is to dominate other people, is it not? It, like, you wanna just shitstorm on everybody. In order to do that, you have to build your character, and then skill obviously takes place, but. I, I wish they would have some kind of reward system, something to look forward to as you climb rating, as you work in and dedicate your time into that character. I think it's almost bullshit that you can level up a 110 and be able almost be able to compete after two days of gearing that character up, get it, be able to compete with other people who have been playing that same character for months. For fucking months. That's that's a horrible system. That's absolutely horrible. So again, I think if they added, you know, 1750 tier uh, or 2k tier, you know, just something, transmog, uh, more transmogs, there's only one transmog, and uh, the 2k set is literally a repeat from last season, so that's good job, Blizzard, of being lazy. Now, another huge problem in the PvP community is that the participation is super low. It's unbelievably low right now, for obvious reason, because of the LOGQ. The moment you, you know, you're looking for your teammates, you decide to queue up, it could you could take you hours, basically. If you're a certain DPS, a certain class, that really is not very viable. It could, you, you might as well just quit that class and 
you know, do something else and become more viable. That's kind of what LG has become. Um, it's a very bad system. Because, you know what, uh, like Savix has pointed out, if you play a Fury Warrior, no one's going to want to play with a Fury Warrior. No one. And there is a thing that actually could eliminate this pick and choose process, and it would actually be a lot better to queue up. It, you'd be able to find teammates a lot faster. And I think it would actually add some flavor to the community as well. Adding 3v3 solo queue, I think, would fix all those problems across the board. Now, if you don't know what 3v3 solo queue is, if you've been living on a rock or whatever reason it is, if you don't PvP, 3v3 solo queue is a system where you all by yourself can queue up into a 3v3 solo queue and it would pair you up with two other teammates, one being a healer, two being DPS, and you could try to, you know, beat the opposing team. That's what it is. It's pretty much just 3v3, but you're able to queue for it just like an LG or raid dungeon or just, you know, a, a normal dungeon, whatever. Again, you would be able to queue whatever as you want. If you wanted to play the fucking worst class, and you think you're actually pretty good at it, and you think you can get a certain rating, 3v3 solo queue is for you. Now, an argument I have heard of a reason not to add 3v3 solo queue. Honestly, I've heard a couple of reasons. They're all pretty retarded in my, in my opinion. In my opinion, they're all pretty fucking stupid. One was, it's not worth the resources. What do you mean it's not worth the resources? You think the resources... What, like, what, what are they implementing? They're implementing a system that we're asking for, that they already have. It's just not there in WoW. It's in, it's in Overwatch. It's in, um, hell, it's, it's, it's in literally every other single, like, competitive game. It's in Call of Duty. It's in, you, you fucking name it, dude. If it's a competitive game, you name it. It has that system. We just want that for 3v3 solo queue. We want that for WoW. Now, another argument I've heard is that it's gonna ruin... The community even further like because you have no longer a reason to interact with people and i think that's very untrue because when you queue up with people and you think someone's good that you're queuing up with you're gonna want to add that guy you're gonna want to add him so that you can actually push and twos or threes and try to get gladiator or whatever it is you can i think it's a great way to find friends it's absolutely a great way take for instance look at the pve when you did dungeons did you ever get friends doing those dungeons? Yeah, sure you did. And you would add those people and you would farm more dungeons and then you'd be like, hey, do you have a guild? You know, it would lead to further and further long-term friends relationships. And I think 3-3 is a great system for that, great system. Hell, I made friends even doing BGs. So I, I don't see how this would hurt the participation in the PvP if at all. If anything, it's gonna help boost it. Because there's something else for us to do. It's, we're not just sitting there waiting in queue to find a team. Anyways, guys, this was my two cents. Let me know what you ad agree with or disagree in the comment section below. I normally don't do these type of videos, but I, as a streamer, as a YouTuber, this, this is everything to me. I really do think if they implement a lot of these things, it would make PvP great again. I really, really, really do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace!